In the age of the internet, information can be instantly accessed and shared across the world. While so much is made available, some pioneers in the field of education have opened access to knowledge even further. The Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT, is one of them. Historically, elitism has been a major obstacle to opening top universities to the world, and students paid a high price to have access to this exclusive instruction. By unleashing the knowledge that was once kept within its walls, MIT has taken a leading role in altering the notion of intellectual property and traditional access to higher education. It was in 2000, in the midst of the growth of distance learning ventures, that MIT launched its OpenCourseWare. The web-based platform offered core teaching material from numerous MIT courses, making them available to everyone for free. Four years after its launch, the site had been accessed by 35 million visitors from more than 220 countries and territories worldwide. MIT faculty members share lessons on a voluntary basis and these are made available under an open license. This allows people to reuse, redistribute and modify the materials to meet their needs. To date, MIT OpenCourseWare has shared over 2,000 courses online and 17,000 lectures across 33 academic disciplines, reaching out to over 100 million individuals. Professor Miller has been contributing courses and is very involved in the OpenCourseWare initiative as mathematics department liaison. He sees no downside to sharing all his lessons online. On the contrary, for him, the site increases the quality and connectivity of the MIT curriculum and brings the teachers together as never before, since they open their lessons to their peers. Professor Miller has recently been creating bridges between disciplines and concepts to make data more intelligible online. He believes linking courses to each other will boost the impact of OpenCourseWare for the MIT community. For him, the added value in the classroom lies in the experience of the student, rather than in the material distributed in class. For a website such as OpenCourseWare, it is therefore important to publish videos and offer the right connections between complex areas of knowledge to stimulate understanding and curiosity. With so many users worldwide, who are the people benefiting from MIT? And how are they using the website? Some educators use it as a way to access information and do research. Some students find it useful to study in greater depth. For some teachers, it helps to improve their courses and teaching. Some self-learners have developed their professional skills. These are just a few examples of the many uses and benefits of this resource that is open to one and all. The internet has allowed MIT to open up to the world. But soon after its creation, the initiative was no longer just about the internet. It was about sharing the knowledge worldwide, whatever it took. So the team developed what they call mirror sites in regions where the internet is unavailable or unreliable and expensive. They distributed complete copies of the website on hard disks that no longer required any connection. So far, the mirror site program has helped bridge the digital divide through 280 complete copies of the site mainly in Sub-Saharan Africa and South Asia. Makarere University in the Ugandan capital Kampala is one of the institutions hosting the site. Tito Okumu has been e-learning manager there since 2008. In his university, the use of MIT has been particularly useful to supplement efforts to provide quality content, because learning materials are so expensive. It has also helped enrich the curriculum of similar courses offered by the university. He believes the students are the main beneficiaries, as teachers wish to remain players in knowledge creation rather than users. But there are still many obstacles. A great number of students lack access to computers and the internet. Others have no computer skills or do not explore the full possibilities of e-learning. MIT OpenCourseWare celebrated its 10th anniversary in 2010, the year it won a WISE Award. 
MIT's objective is to reach 1 billion minds by 2021. To date, there are over 250 universities and organizations worldwide that have followed in MIT's steps, developing their own open courseware and together sharing more than 15,000 courses. The open sharing of knowledge not only promotes human understanding across the globe, it also breaks down traditional barriers to higher education for more democratic access to knowledge. Thanks to generous initiatives like MIT OpenCourseWare, what was once for the privileged few is now available for all mankind.